to another video. As always, my name's Jasper, and what we're going to be covering today is the latest AI tool called Perplexity. So this is another, as I said, AI tool, just like ChatGPT, just like all of our GPT-4 and Hugging Face models, but um, it's really standing out and a bit new more unique to the market, and a lot of people are starting to love it and moving across to using it on searching. So really it's um, not a competition to ChatGPT, although it kind of is, um, it's more of a competition to Google search in many ways. And what they've done is uh, what well, I'm going to walk through right now. So uh, one, you can sign up for free. I'll put the link in the description. You can just jump in there, sign up to a free account just like I am now. As you can see, it's saying try pro, so I'm not even on the pro account. And what it is, is it has its own model, their own um, technology, but they're also integrating it with other things. So what you can find here is you can search across the entire web. You can search across academic papers. You can use it specifically for writing. Uh, you can use it for knowledge engines. You can also use it for searching YouTube videos and Reddit videos. And what they've done is they've connected it directly up to um, the internet so you can get access to these things on demand in real time. And they've also connected it up to Copilot as well. And I do hear that you're able to actually do further connections or they're planning to. So let's just jump into you know what you can sort of use this for. So let's say if we go focus and we go YouTube. And obviously right now I'm creating a video around perplexity. So maybe we want to find some information around that. So let's go, um, what are the most viewed videos on YouTube about perplexity? And let's see what happens. So right off the bat, what you get here is the sources. So it's actually giving you the videos that it's researched and found around there. And then you have the answer itself. And just like ChatGPT, now you've got this area where you can keep communicating um, with follow-up questions, as it says here, and it also um, keeps it there so it's all relevant, so it's in one place, so it knows what happened in the last response and so forth. So real relevant information um, while you're chatting to it. So it goes, the most viewed videos on YouTube around perplexity are the world's most expensive French citizens, uh, 787 views on perplexity. Now that doesn't sound like the right thing to me because 184 views, so let's go um, please find the most viewed videos around perplexity AI. There we go, so now we've got the right thing. So this is talking about, based on the searches, there is one, only one video related to Perplexity AI, which is titled All Features You Didn't Know. So it looks like there's not much data out there, and um, it doesn't have too much videos on it. So let's jump back and try something new. So if we go to maybe all, and type in, tell me more about Perplexity AI. Okay, so now it's got some sources from across the web. So we've got Elegant Themes, PC Guide, uh, Perplexity itself, and two more. So Perplexity is an AI, is a ch chatbot style search engine that utilizes AI technology to gather information and provide answers to users' questions in neutral language. So real generic things to say that's built just like uh, OpenAI's GPT-3 and blah, blah, blah. So um, as you can see, yeah, I guess it's searching the web for that. Um, so as you can see, I guess it's real easy to sort of narrow it down to live information and very specific information across where you want to get it from. So let's say academic writing Reddit. Um, the amount of times I'm searching answers on Reddit is, you know, a daily thing. So I guess, you know, you could use this instead so you can search for stuff on Reddit. So let's ask, um, what are some good AI subreddits? Let's see what happens. So there we go, we've got AGI, AI videos, um, AI ethics, AI life, automate, um, a whole bunch. Singularity is actually a really big one, so is machine learning. Um, but yeah, so obviously it listed them out, it's getting that data um, straight from Reddit, which is cool. So um, yeah, really exciting. It is a new sort of product that's just released, so it has, it's not too old. You can also get it on mobile as well, so you can download it to your phone. Um, a lot of people are just using this to sort of replace Google Search, um, but I'm going to look real forward to see what else they come out with and the sort of integrations that they'll actually go further. 
the more I guess focus and integrations they have, the better. If you can sort of not just focus on YouTube and Reddit, and maybe you'll start leaking into other third-party applications, which would be really cool. But you never know. Um, I believe also Revit AI has partnered up with Perplexity to um, provide some of their raw well, features within their device as well, which is cool. Which is showing that our Perplexity is going places. But thanks for watching the video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you like the content and also check out the exclusive, exclusive YouTube membership section. But um, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again.